Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to create fine green password policy in Windows Server 2012 R2. In Microsoft Windows 2000 and Windows Server 2003 Active Directory domains, you could apply only one password and account lockout policy which is specified in the domain's default domain policy to all users in the domain. As a result, if you wanted different password and account lockout settings for different set of users, you had to either create a password filter or deploy multiple domains. So both options were costly for different reasons. Starting from Windows Server 2008, you can use fine grained password policy to specify a multiple password policy and apply different password restriction and account lockout policies to different set of users within a single domain. In this video, we will see the steps for creating fine grained password policy on Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller. Once we create a fine grained password policy, we would be applying to our group name Azure Managers. This is a test group that consists of few users. I found it very easy to configure a fine green password policy on domain controller running on Windows Server 2012 R2 than Windows Server 2008 R2. So to create a fine green password policy, you have to log into the domain controller using domain admin account and then open SOA Manager. Once you open a SOA Manager, click on Tools and open Active Directory Administrator Centers. Now switch to tree mode and expand your domain. Click on system. Under system, scroll to password settings container. And as you can see, it is currently empty. So let's create a new PSO. Just uh, click on new and select password settings. Let's specify PSO1. Now here's the, you have to specify the precedence value. Let's uh, specify 5. As for Microsoft, a lower value for the precedence attributes indicate the PSO has a higher rank or a higher priority than other PSOs. For example, suppose an object has two PSO linked to it, one PSO has a precedence value of 2 and other PSO has a precedence value of 5. In this case, the PSO that has a precedence value of 2 has a higher rank and hence is applied to the object. Now here we have to specify enforce minimum password length, we want to specify 9 character and for password history number of password remembered let's uh, use default 24 and password must meet complexity requirement okay and on password age options enforce minimum password age user cannot change password within so it will be one day and enforce maximum password age user must change password after let's select after every 15 days and let's select enforce account lockout policy. Number of failed logon attempt allows are uh, 2. And reset failed logon attempts count after every 30 minutes. And account will be locked out for the duration of 30 minutes. Now let's apply this newly created PSO to our group. And if we open active directory users and computers, as you can see, already I created users and groups in our domain, in my laptop local. And here's the other group, HR managers. And if you see the members, Kim and Kunal Bansal, both users are the member of our HR managers group. We want to apply this PSO to HR managers. So click on add. Now type the name of your group, HR and check name. It will use us the HR managers. Click on OK. And this PSO is directly applying on HR manager. Click on OK. And that's done. So our PSO1 is currently applying on HR Managers Group. Now let's come back on our Active Directory Users and Computer Console and let's refresh it. To view the resultant PSO for a user in Active Directory Users and Computers Console, first of all you have to click on View and then select Advanced Features. Again open your OU and just right click on User and select the property. From property menu, open attribute editor tab. On attribute editor tab, click on filter and select so read only attribute constructed. And here we go. Now you have to look at the value of MSDS resultant PSO attribute in the attribute list. MSDS and here. MSDS resultant PSO click on view and as you can see 
the resultant PSO is CN is equal to PSO1, CN is equal to password settings container, and CN is equal to system, this is equal to my lab, and this is equal to local. So that is the PSO which we created earlier by using Active Directory Administrator Center. Click on OK and click on OK. You can also view the resultant PSO for a user from the command line using dscat command. Let's open the command prompt. Just right click on the start button. Select command prompt with admin credential. And let's type a command. dsget user and the distinctive name of our user. It will be a cn is equal to kim. ou is equal to hr team. ou is equal to surat. This is equal to my lab and this is equal to local space hyphen effective PSO and then hit enter key. Sorry, let's complete the double quote and then hit enter. Okay, as you can see, the effective PSO is this CN is equal to PSO1, CN is equal to password settings container, and CN is equal to system. This is equal to my lab and this is equal to local. Okay, so click on close. And now let's try to specify the password for our user Kim and uh, let me show you the password. I want to specify the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. Let's copy. Let's reset the password. Let's paste and paste. Click on OK. As you can see, that's an error. Windows cannot complete the password change sheet for user Kim Hells because the password does not meet the password policy requirement. Click on OK. Now let's again specify the password. Pass at 123. Let's remove 3. So total characters are 5 and 6, 7. Okay. Let's copy the password and let's try to reset the password for our user Kim. Let's paste. And click on OK. Again, you get the error message. Click on OK. So this is because we set a password length longer than these passwords. So let's specify the password 12345. So pass at 12345. It will be a new password for our user. Let's copy. And this time, this password will be set for the, our user. Click on OK. And that's it. The password for Keem Health has been changed successfully. So this is the way how you can create a fine green password policy in Windows Server 2012 R2 and the simple way how we can apply the PSO to our user. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.